Okay, welcome back to another No Nonsense Review by Cal Clash Fitness. Now today we're going to be talking about the Newton MV Squared, or as I like to call them for ease and less pretentiously, the Newton MV2. Okay, so what do I think of this shoe? I absolutely love this shoe. So if that's all you're interested in, click on another one of my videos and get going. If you want to learn why, keep watching. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Newton, uh, Newton are unique in the fact that they have this uh, foot pod. I won't go into too much detail about it, there's plenty, plenty of stuff out there if you want to learn more about the foot pod, but essentially um, it, uh, it allows you to, or it enhances that forefoot um, experience. It sort of forces you, if you're not already a forefoot uh, runner, it forces you to land on the forefoot um, and actually propels you forward. So any forefoot runner knows that you already have that sort of forward lean going on anyway. Uh, but what this does is it enhances that and it just sort of um, pushes you even forward, uh, even more further forward and it allows gravity to do a little bit extra work for you, okay? So what that means is a little bit extra speed, a little bit extra effort, which means you can go faster, further, for longer, okay? And it, and it does work, okay? It really does work. Now, as many, many of you know, I'm a minimalist runner, I'm a barefoot runner, Vibram Five Fingers are my thing. Vibram Five Fingers are my everyday go-to shoe. All my mileage really goes into the into the Vibrams. As you can see by the wear on these, uh, I've put a lot of miles into this Newton MB2. Now, to be honest, feeling this shoe, I can't believe, I still can't believe, I've had these for almost two years now, I still can't believe how light they are. Unbelievably light you will not know that these are on your feet, okay? I, I honestly do not know how they've made this shoe so light. It's, it's truly unbelievable. It's remarkable. Um, zero drop, so zero, zero heel drop, so that means that there's no, um, no additional height um, in the heel compared to the mid or forefoot, which is brilliant. So again, it's promoting that forefoot strike, that um, the correct running um, posture. So absolutely fantastic. Uh, grip, not too, not too great. If I was going to say there's one flaw um, with this shoe, it's the grip. So really they're a summer shoe, they're definitely a road shoe. Uh, they don't handle wet very well, they don't hand, handle any slippery surface very well. So if you're, if you're looking for something maybe off-road or something that's going to handle all weathers, this isn't for you. Really, uh, to summarise it, this isn't my everyday go-to shoe, okay? This is my race shoe. This shoe is phenomenally fast, okay? If I want a PB, if I want to smash an event, I will put this shoe on. I'll reach for this shoe every single time, okay? And they're comfortable. They're comfortable, they're fast. Um, I don't think they're as comfortable as the Vibram Five Fingers, but they're certainly faster, okay? So it's a trade-off between Vibram Five Fingers gives you that perfect, um, understanding of, of the terrain and what's going on underneath your feet and and that perception of the floor and all the rest of it and injury free running and um, these are slightly slightly padded not too padded to be honest with you um, and the foot pod does add a little bit more stress I feel um, coming up into your body but not too much and again if you're running correctly and softly and all the rest of it you're not really going to feel it but for me I do like to keep these shoes um, for, for specific events and when I really want to run really fast when I really want to push myself I'll always reach for these shoes okay so in summary again don't want to keep it too long I personally really recommend these shoes I think they're fantastic the foot pod makes you um, forces you to land forefoot forces you to lean slightly for further forward uh, it makes gravity do a lot more of the work it means you can run faster longer and um, very enjoyable unfortunately these are starting to wear out now I'm a very aggressive runner and these are done about 150 miles, so a relatively well wearing shoe, especially as, as aggressively as I run in them. Um, I can't recommend these enough, okay? As an everyday um, training uh, shoe, maybe not, I'd always reach for the Vibrams, but as a race shoe, I cannot recommend these highly enough in my personal experience. Absolutely love these shoes and I'd always run for these, uh, reach for these if I want a good time, okay? If I want to run fast, always going to be these shoes for me guys okay so as usual please subscribe down below if you haven't already 
like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, uh, leave me some comments, let me know what else you want to see, let's keep it rolling.